Hello Power Pickers! I'm using the Camper Profiler Stage Amp for more than two years now and I was never happy with the sound. But now I found out why and I share the reason for it in this video. The Camper Profiler Stage Amp is one of the most professional amps I've ever seen and I mean, it has so many functions, so many options, and also the outputs and inputs and FX loops. It's insane how much function this amp really has. But uh, today we are talking about the output and my biggest mistake. Stay tuned. For guitar recording, I'm using an audio interface, the Scarlett 2i2 from uh, Focusrite and uh, that has a monitor function so you can listen with the headphones how it sounds. And I always wondered why the sound over the headphones is very different from the sound which is recorded in Reaper. And uh, I never cared too much because I thought, well, maybe it's not good enough. I also always wondered why the sound uh, is not too different when I change the metrics. So for example, if I change a delay or a chorus or something, it didn't show too much change. And also uh, connecting a box and the audio interface is also a different sound. So I had to create three or four different sounds just to make good recordings, a good live sound and so on. So you can see all those videos on my YouTube channel. But there was just one mistake which held me back. That big mistake is really, really simple. And I want you to check that. So if you have a Kemper amp or a Kemper Profiler Stage amp, uh, connect it to your computer and check that one thing. So let's hop over there. I'm sorry for the dust here, but I think that's pretty common. So the first thing is we need a power. And uh, never go with the mono out. You have a mono out here, but I'm using two clink cables here and I go for main out, left and right and both go into my mixer and the mixer is then connected to the focus right to the audio interface and that's very important here so I always used a mono channel but that doesn't work too great last but not least we have to connect the guitar cable and here we can connect the guitar to make any adjustments via the rig manager, we have to connect the amp with an USB cable. The rest we have to do on the computer. Okay, and here's the biggest mistake I made. Uh, when you go to the rig manager, you need to go to output first. And then you see main output master stereo. And that's very important you need to, to, to have a master stereo here. If you go with mono, then use master mono. My biggest mistake here was that I used a mono cable. I connected the amp via mono, but my setup here was master stereo. So I heard just half of the sound. And that's the reason why, yeah, I had no good sound for two years now. 